Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today, I'm here for another pen review. First, if you like my channel, if you enjoy the reviews I make, please don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe the channel. It's really important for me. Now, the pen that I'm going to review today was sent to me for review purposes by Tibaldi. This is the second Tibaldi pen that I have and that's what I'm going to show. So, this is a Tibaldi number 60 or just N60 and it comes inside this packaging that has some little decorations. They are very simple, made of paper red reddish cardboard paper and says there N60 and with the M nib and it is fountain pen and Tibaldi embossed there very simple packaging you can remove these but you can open the box without removing this part it is not that easy because it's quite snugly put into the the box but I want to show it to you so you can remove this red sleeve more like a brick red color and you have the box which is black in a cardboard material but quite nice it says Tibaldi there in a shiny letters and here it has the logo of Tibaldi which is an eagle from the Aquila family and here stuff about the ecological part of the uh, packaging. This also slides out like a drawer and you have the actual box with the, with the pen and then you can just take this bed out and here you have two little things, one card that's certificate of warranty, it would be stamped and dated by the, the company that would sell the pen to you. And here you have a little bag with two international sized short cartridges branded Tibaldi very big but with a nice feature one is black and another is blue so you can choose how you want to ink your pen just right from the moment you buy the pen so let's put this in again and take the pen out put this aside and let's talk about the pen first this is a pen that I, I, I think it it, it is nice, it, it is, it's really a nice pen and it has some very good details about it that I really enjoy. However, there are also some small details that it's not that perfect. But overall, I like this pen. But let's talk about them. First thing, the pen has a very vintage look to it. At least that's what I think and it makes sense because this pen such as the Tivaldi Perfecta that I got for review before they are inspired in older models by Tivaldi and it has this shape that you will see also in many other Italian pens or even in the in the Parker Vacuumatic some of them have this kind of overall design it is a nice pen that tapers down in both ends, it has ring in both extremities and with a jewel that is made of the same material as the rest of the pen. It has a clip that has no ring, it is inserted on the cap and it is springy enough to be used. Then you have three rings on the cap and Tibaldi is engraved over it or above it. One thing that I find in this pen and that is one of those small details that 
may upset some people is that the Tibaldi, as you can see, is not well centered with the clip. So the clip would be would, would have to be more above the A or between the A and the L, not there where it is. It's not a big deal, but some people will notice. And when you turn it all the way around, the Made in Italy is not also in the opposite side of the clip. But I think these are just small details and some people take them seriously. I don't really care that much about it. One thing that I really care about it is the kind of the design. I like these designs, I like vintage designs. I also like modern designs, but I, I like when we see modern um, homages to older models of the same brand. And I think that is quite nice. It's nice to do that in respect of the old models and also to be sure that we can use all the, the, the heritage from a pen, from a, a pen maker. Also, another thing that I really like is this material. It's very beautiful. This is the Samarkand Blue uh, version and it has this pearlescent blue and yellow and black all mixed together. And I think this is a very beautiful finish. I like the color, but it is also available in four other colors, red, yellow, green and black. The plain black one is beautiful, it's a very beautiful vintage pen. But one thing that I like in this pen, and when I talked with Tivaldi, I said that I was more interested in this finish, because I've showed you this before, but not on the review of this pen. In this book, The Fountain Pens of the World, there is this page with Tivaldi pens, and it's not that easy to see the photo of a book page, but you can see this pen is not the exact model, but it is quite a similar pen with a similar colored material with the blue, black and yellow. It's not easy to see filming the, the, the book page, but believe me, it is the same kind of material. So I really like that. I would not say this is a lack of imagination. I would say this is really um, an homage to an older model, and I like that uh, detail. The cap of this pen unscrews, and let me see, it will unscrew with less than one full turn, and then you have a nib, that is the Tibaldi nib, number 6, with ebonite feed, and I really like the ebonite feed on this pen and other pens, and it is a medium nib. I think you can see the M there. I have to say that I don't really like that much M nibs, but I got this Tibaldi Perfecta with an F nib. The nib is the same, and so I thought that, okay, I'm getting these pens for free. At least I can get two types of nibs, although I don't r love medium nibs, because there is more variety to show to, to the viewers. And so I got the medium nib. It has a short black section, and I think this goes perfectly well with the rest of the, of the things in the pen. You may think, why is that black and not the, the, the color of the rest of the pen? Yes, it could be, but also this makes it look a little bit more vintage, I think. You unscrew the barrel and you'll have this metal part the threads and you have the cartridge, the, you can put here two short cartridge or you have the branded, Tibaldi branded international uh, converter and this converter is the one, is the, that kind of converter that screws in the section which is nice because when you're filling from a bottle there is no risk of the converter to get loose and fall into the bottle of ink and then it would be a mess to search for it inside. Another little detail that I was thinking 
is the, the ebonite feed. I told you about that. It's very good because it makes it keeps the nibs wetter and improves the ink flow. However, one thing I noticed was that the nib on this pen was not fully uh, put inserted into the collar that screws into the section. So every time I kept when I received and then kept the pen, the shoulders of the nib would touch something on the inside of the cap and would go out of alignment with the feet. So I had to remove it and to insert it better. So maybe Tivaldi could have a little bit more of care with these small details. But it's hard to say my opinion. If I was not used to fountain pens, I would say, okay, how can I fix them? That, it's not hard, you just have to push the nib all the way in, that's the only problem. But for me it's not a problem, but the pen is not that inexpensive and so maybe it could be a little bit more perfect in the way it would uh, behave. However, all the other details, I really enjoy them. The details like the color, the details like the, the design and all the vintage looking part of this pen. And that, yes, I really like. I talked about the price. The price of this pen is 185 euros. Not inexpensive, but nowadays even steel nibbed pens like this one, number six steel nib pen, is they have the price going up and so we are now paying more for steel nib. So it's not unusual, an unusual price for set for this kind of pen, but I have to say it is not inexpensive also. But you'll find many other pens on this price range and for the kind of pen you get, I think it is worth it. But this is my personal opinion as always in these reviews. Another thing that I like a lot in this pen is that it is very comfortable to hold and it is quite thick and long. And yes, this is a long pen. Let me show you the pen next to others. Here is the Tivaldi N60. I will show the Tivaldi Perfecta, which is just a little shorter, but also nice. It just looks black. It's this rich black finish. It's really, really black. But the pens with which I usually compare the other pens with are the Parker Centennial the Fold. This time I'm showing you the black one. And you see, it is shorter. And the Lamy Safari, that is, not, this is not Safari, this is the LX Ruthenium, but the same size of a Safari, and it is shorter. So this is really a big pen. And it features the, the video that I made with big pens. I have here another pen that um, some of you may recognize in terms of size, which is the Pelican M800, which I think it is maybe the best size for uh, a Pelican pen. And the Pelican M800, this M800 M5 is shorter. And also, another pen that I love, and it is also an Italian pen, the Leonardo Ficina Italiana Momento Zero Grande in the color sand, which is a big pen, is of, it's just a little bit longer than the Tibaldi. So we have to say that Tibaldi is quite a large pen. Uncapped. Let me show you the sizes of the three pens and kept. The, kind, the size of the nibs are the same. And here you have the Lamy. And when aligned by the nib, they are like this. All full-sized pens, quite easy to use. About using the pen posted or unposted. Yes, you can use the pen and post it because it's long enough to use like that. You can post it, yes, it posts fairly securely and I don't think it is very comfortable because it tends to become back heavy. But 
In my opinion, it makes no sense to post a pen that has this size, it becomes too long. So, if you want a nice pen and you don't mind to get a steel nib, I would say this is a nice way to go into a large pens without spending all your budget and you have a really interesting Italian made with a beautiful resin uh, to try and to go into the world of bigger fountain pens. So, this is the overall stuff of the, of the pen from the outside. Let's see how the pen performs on paper. And here we are with the paper and the pen and let's go for it. This is the Tibaldi N60 Samarkand Blue with a medium steel nib. The paper that I'm using is the usual Rodia dot pad and the ink is an ink that's really nice is the Rohrer and Cleaner Alt Gold Con. I like green inks and not regular green inks and I like the shade of this. I'm not sure if this will show correctly on the on the camera, but I hope so. And this pen, what did I find? This is a smooth pen. I find it has a little less feedback than the fine nib that I find here on, this, on the Perfecta, which is understandable because it has a bigger point, so um, a bigger tip of the nib, so it, it's understandable it is smoother. However, I find the, the sweet spot for it to write is a little smaller. The nib is quite good. I would say this is quite wet maybe the kind of wetness that I like. I don't like much more than this. So it is almost glassy smooth. Very good, very nice nib to use. The, the size and the weight of the pen makes it very, uh, make it very comfortable to, to hold. You can hold the pen here on the, over the section that is quite small, but there's no problem. And you can come up. You will see that the threads on the, the barrel that catch the cap are not sharp at all so you can hold the pen here or here or here or anywhere you want up there so maybe sometimes I hold it like this and sometimes I hold it more like that no problem because it is long enough to be to still be comfortable to use about the other characteristics of the nib about reverse writing reverse writing yes you can perfectly. You have a finer line like that, you have a thicker line like that. About the line variation. Maybe you can have more if you press it harder, but you f this is that kind of pen that you feel if you press it harder something may go wrong. You don't feel you should press this pen because the nib is stiff. That's how it is. But a very good number 6 nib with a very nice pen. I think I had my fingers there and now the pen skipped in that uh, specific place but the pen doesn't skip. It was me that had my uh, humidity of my hands there. I think you saw that this little place. Other than that, the pen writes perfectly, smoothly, very good pen. I really like it. So, I have to thank you, Tibaldi, for sending me the pen for review, and thank you all that all that all of you that watch my videos. I hope this review was interesting. This is a very interesting pen with a vintage look, so 
I think it's nice to have all these options today that you can go for. And like that, you can check Tivaldi's website because they are doing nice stuff with older uh, designs of the brand. And I really think that has a lot of value. So, if you like this, don't forget to hit the like button and also the subscribe. And I hope to have you here for my next video. So, bye.